the stream deck by Elgato is um, pretty much well known now, uh, especially in sim racing, um, and it's become a well known uh, button box. Um, and I'm going to show you today how you can do that, um, the different functions inside it, how you can create buttons, where to get the buttons from, and so on. So let's go. So here we are inside the Stream Deck software and as you can see just to the right hand side now I've actually got my Canon camera on the button box so you can actually see uh, as I press the buttons and what they do and I'll explain that later on. So basically I'm running a Stream Deck XL. Now the Stream Deck XL is a 32 function button box but what you need to realise is with these stream decks you basically got pages and pages that you can use so if you're using this original stream deck with the small amount of keys it doesn't really matter i just went for this because i prefer to have uh, more buttons uh, on display at any one time but for instance if i just press this settings key here as you can see that takes me into another page that I've got for my button box. Now, as you can see up here on the left hand side, it's named Assetto. Now, this is what I use for my Assetto Corsa. And as you can see, we've got volume up and down. We've got Discord volume and I've also got screen brightness up and down and my blue light filter. So I use some software called Iris um, and that allows you to change the uh, ambient look and also the brightness so if you want in that uh, sort of night eye look when you're in racing on a night if it's starting to get a bit strainful on your eyes you can just simply come in here and turn that down also um, i can mute my microphone i can also mute all sound i can open sim hub i can open discord and i use some software called voice meter pro um, and that's because i use this external mic and I don't really use my headset as much when I'm racing because it gets my hot, gets me hot. Um, so I prefer to just run an external mic. And again, I can control the volume of Discord. I can control the volume of the sound in the game. So if the cars are a little bit loud and I can't hear my friends talking on Discord, I can simply turn that down and simply turn it up just by using the uh, actual stream deck. And again, you can map it to do all sorts of different functions, whatever you choose for it to do um, the voice meter software allows you to input stream deck inputs with inside it um, I can just show you that right now so I'll just drag that over here so we can see it so as you can see as I press up on this up key you can see the volume going up and down on the channel that I've chosen for the sound and also the one for discord so if you would like me to do a video on this then just drop it down in the comments below and i'll certainly do one on voice meter but today we're just going to be focusing on uh, stream deck so as you can see i can press a windows key there you can't see that actually pop up because it pops up on my right hand screen but that actually when i'm in the game for instance if i'm in a seto and i want to bring up my windows key to check an app on the uh I, what i've you know pinned to my taskbar or whatever i can do that also we've got this back button here so we can go back um if we just want to go back to the menu we was in and that takes us back to there so as you can see um, i'm showing you what's on display in the software and also on the button box again i've got different dashboards that i use on my five inch screen and i can change all them through this again because it's used as like a keyboard emulation we can simply map a key within a game to emulate through the stream deck so you can just basically choose what you want it to do and then just drop it in so again i've got the volume up and down in here and that's just simply because when i'm racing i want to be able to sit up and down quickly on the fly but also if i'm in this menu i i have mapped uh, the mirrors to be adjusted in the game through this function so if i'm in here just adjusting a mirror and i want to turn the volume up and down i can i can mute discord in here i can change my mirror field of view on the getting a set of Corsa. And like I said, you can just change the pages as you go and you can change them to what you want. So basically, when you want to make a button, as you can see, this is called a hotkey. So all you'd simply do is you'd create a button and you drag this hotkey in and you drag it and drop it in place like so. And what that does is 
it allows you to map a button and then you can assign something to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come into settings and I'm going to drop a hotkey into an empty slot. And I'm going to show you how it works. So as you can see here, we've got a system hotkey and we've not actually chosen anything for it yet. What you want to do then is click this little drop down arrow and it'll ask you to create an icon if you want to create one or you can set it from file. So if we set it from file, as you can see, I've got all these arrows, uh, boost, all these ones, icons that I've actually got. Um, I found these on race department. So if you just simply go on race department and search for uh, stream deck, it'll come up with keys and icons. Also, there's links on YouTube to where people have put these on. If you would like the icons that I've got, I can zip them up and put them on uh, Google Drive. No problem. Again, just drop a comment below saying that you'd like it and uh, I'll certainly do that. And as you can see, I've got my Stream Deck profiles and I've got all these. Another good thing with uh, the Stream Deck is you don't have to just use icons. So, for instance, let's just have a look in these ones by Samos 13, which I got. As you can see, we've got a back, a forward. I've got ABS, um, an apps button, break. And as you can see, these are all pre-built. So, for instance, if we just wanted to uh, pick, let's just pick... Um, changing camera cockpit you double click it and it puts the icon in now you can put a title on like cam and it'd come up you can also do it in capitals and then what you can do if you click on this little text button you can change the font and you can change the size and as you reduce the size as you can see it goes up and down in size we can also change the color and it changes it to red but as you can tell it's not very easily seen so tend to just have them in white or yellow because as they are very small as you can see on the stream deck here on the camera it is very difficult to read them so the more clearer you make it the easier it is obviously to see while you're racing um, so that's just an example of how that works then all you do is you just assign a key to it like I've just pressed Z so every time when you when you go into a game then if you want to map a button for the camera all you'd simply do is go into your config in settings to your where you assign your key and you'd press cam or you'd press Z because every time you press that it is like pressing Z so that's how the game would see it and then obviously that's all you would need to do to, to map that button and you can do that for things like I've said like if I go back here if you look on when I click it so I've got number pad one for brake bias forwards number pad two for brake bias minus so again go into a set of course for example go to the controls assign a key and then that becomes your brake bias plus brake bias minus or front or rear um, and the same for things like wipers now if you look this is called a hot key okay now this one for example is called a hot key switch and the reason that's a hot key switch is i've actually got it set as a black and white with a yellow border but when I press it, if you look here on the uh, on the camera for the stream deck, when I press it, it goes blue, which tells me my lights are on. And that's why it's called a hotkey switch. And that's because down here we have these two functions. We have the one that we want for the first stage and then the one we want for the second stage. Now, you'll notice that the key is still going to be L because it doesn't matter. We don't want it to swap. We just want it to show us whether it's on, on sorry, or off. So as you can see at the minute, it's on. Once I press it, it goes off, which is really good, a really neat feature uh, inside Stream Deck. And all you do for that is you simply do, like I've said before, you click this, you click set from file, you pick the icon for the lights in the color that you'd like for off. And obviously blue is like a main beam color. So obviously that's why I picked it. And then once you're racing, if you just want to flick your lights on, obviously you know that they're on. If it's like a dusk night, uh, dusk time at racing where it's not exactly easy to tell if you've got your lights on quite yet um it's just a, another uh, inclination of whether they're on or not so that covers how a hotkey switch works again all these buttons are all just mapped like i said discord if you look this is why i was saying this is through voice meter and the bar raider it's an app that i've downloaded here as you can see on the right and this works through the voice meter software um and then you input the information that it tells you there for the slide four, which is just here. So slide one, two, three, four. So that's how we turn that up. So that's classed as slide four. But again, I'll talk about that later. It was just a bit of a demonstration. 
and what you can do then is you can have this profile button and what that does is it allows you to switch to your next profile now as you can see this is my desktop um, the the things that I'm running on desktop if I want to open my uh, CCTV for my house if I want to open uh, the soft, uh, software for the SW25 and also what I've done is I've mapped it so that I can click this button which I'm not going to do now because as you can see it shuts down the PC or restarts it so if you're just wanting to quickly shut down your computer rather than clicking on start and so on you know once you click on these it tells you the actions and you just click on that and that that's the actions that you need to press for windows plus x u and r and that would uh, simply shut down your computer sorry restart it and then it again the same procedure for power and you can find all these key commands online like um, on google and things like that and then you just look for how to restart a pc with a keyboard put that command in and then it implements the same thing so we'll just go back now and then I'm just going to go down to my next profile. And here again, we've just got the Iris software. If I want to click on my webcam, again, volume buttons for each page, brightness up and down. Uh, and now this one is for my Autumn Blister. And again, <clears throat> I've got the ignition button and I've got the start button. And again, I've got the lights button. So if we just look at the ignition, I've actually got that as a as an icon and I've, I've downloaded that and used that but the start button is actually a windows image um, and all I did was download that windows image to scale and then obviously picked it as that picture from file and, sh and sized it to suit and then that way I can see that that's my start button and it's really clear and easy some people might just want to have start written in and a blank background i don't know but i just quite the look uh, quite like the look of the start button as you can see up here on the uh, on the stream deck it looks pretty good um again it's all personal preference this these buttons here i've got for seat forwards up and down and backwards and forwards and also tilt and i'll i really quite like these icons they look really good um so that's that's the buttons that i've got set for uh Automa Blister 2 and again I've got another settings tab which goes into similar sort of things as a set of Corsa um, and so on and again here if I'm just on desktop I've got my equalizer a mute button cancel all sound just like the others again you can just repeat these you can have button box after button box after button box effectively within these profiles um, and, and we're now back now another good function with stream deck is you can go to edit profiles and what you can do here is if you select the game for instance assetto if you read this stream deck will automatically switch to this profile when the stream deck app window is closed and the following application is in the foreground so obviously if this is minimized application and then you just put the directory in so obviously I'm running content manager so what this means is when you launch a game if you're on the wrong profile for instance if we're on say AMS 2 once you load the game instead of searching through the button box that you want it will automatically put the button box that you've assigned to the game so obviously if I'm playing a seto I don't want AMS 2 to be showing so again I've set this so that if you look AMS 2 application it can see Oh, my blister too so straight away as soon as you launch that game it flicks to the correct page which is a brilliant feature in my opinion um, another great feature of um, the stream deck which I'm going to show you now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this so for instance um, let's just pick a, a piece of software so screencast-o-matic I'm just going to literally drag that over from my left screen and drop it in and as you can see it automatically puts it in now you can't really read the writing so well but what you can do is you can just simply put this in then you can minimize it down so you can read it and then you can come down a page and then you know what that is and as you can see we might just want to call it screen casto because we know what that is and then again you can just re reduce the size and that's just simply by dragging and dropping and then as soon as we click on this button it will just instantly launch Screencast-O-Matic again another great feature of uh, the Stream Deck and its software 
there's so many things you can do with inside it and an app so like you can see here i've got a little clock uh so i can just quickly look at the time um i know you've got your clock on your taskbar and other things but it depends what you're in and um what you've got on your screen maybe um you know you, you're doing something in some editing software where it's taking up all your screens if you're on triples or whatever um and i could just quickly glance at that for the time so again it's just another great feature also corsair iq works through this and i run a corsair uh keyboard so i can turn off the leds on there just by simply pressing on and off the led switch straight off so if you're racing i literally swing my keyboard out the way but if your keyboard doesn't swing out the way and you want it to feel like a real car cockpit you can just simply press that button and it turns off your leds now it probably works for other softwares uh, maybe like logitech and things but i'm just specifically talking about corsair because i know it works through that system and again if we just simply press the button for this sw25 software this is the software for the uh direct drive wheel i have that pops up from the left hand side so again stream deck in my opinion is uh the best uh, application you can use in terms of button boxes because you've got uh, numerous button boxes now i've just started playing microsoft flight simulator uh, i'm going to actually make a button box for that and um, for different different models of planes so for instance if you're in a cessna or something like that you can literally replicate the cockpit to a degree and have the buttons that you'd have in a real cessna by getting them online or designing them yourself the the sky's the limit basically um you can do so much with this software it's unbelievable um i really really can't talk enough about good about stream deck and the the functions it has you know like i've said you can just click up here on the right hand side you, this is how you do the hotkey switch and so on and you just drag it and drop it and then it allows you to enter the information if you want in the text if you want to launch a certain website you know as you can see it works with obs studio so you can use this for like a scene for your mixer for recording for streaming you know you just literally click on that button and it'll start streaming it's the it's only getting better as well uh the adaptations inside it are just getting better and better and better uh they just keep adding things to it and again you can like when i got the voice meter pro um and i was using this software and i was like trying to you know get it to work and i was trying to understand exactly everything about it and once i got to the bottom of it and i realized you could add in this uh bar raid app and control it all for the stream deck i was like this is brilliant because it you know when you're racing i don't know if you guys are the same but sometimes the car you're in maybe like the mclaren f1 gt1 car is really loud and sometimes instead of coming out and turning your audio up and down or if you've got a headset and you want to you know adjust it there fair enough but it might run both through that or you might just use it for volume for for uh, you know for the actual discord or maybe like um another chat piece of software you use like um team speak for instance um this works with discord and it allows you to just turn that volume up turn it down so that's it for today's video guys um if i did bring you plenty of value and it does help you understand a little bit more about stream deck then please hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification uh, for all my content i'm providing um check out all my other videos as well i've done ones on things like bass shakers how to use simub i've also done race videos so check them out um i put download links for the cars as well um for the majority of them um so make sure you take check it check out all the race videos i've done and drop a comment below if you've downloaded the car and what you think to it i'd really like to hear from you guys and see what you think because that's why i do these videos um and i will see you in the next one